Hey you guys, Sean again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. Got another episode of Hot News, episode 56. This will be a hot and a new, and I'll tell you why. This is a fuel coupler. It's been around for a while. It's been a very, very popular wheel. Um, I know we've put a ton of them on. It's a real mean looking wheel, and it, that's where I think guys with the diesels or the uh, leveled out trucks that are just kind of going for a dark, mean look, when they start blacking everything out, they've been going with this coupler. Um, most of the ones I see sold are nine inch wide or 20 inch wide 20s because they're going on those leveled trucks and just kind of getting that stocky mean look. So the thing about the coupler that's probably most unique is all the way around the lip, these spokes continue through the lip and then around the corner and then it's got like a Torx head um, bolt, I guess you could say in it. So every one of these spokes continues through and really gives it that dimension. And then when this thing goes around, you see these spokes as it goes and it's just a really aggressive looking wheel. As far as the cap goes, it's a covered cap as you can see. Um, it's got a satin cover on it and that one wouldn't be one to run spike lug nuts. I'm sure it's dual drilled. Yep, this one's dual drilled six lug. So it would fit both Ford and Chevy six lug. And of course they make these in eight lug. Um, pretty much any lug bolt pattern you can imagine. You can see they've got the fuel stamped into the lip of it. And then that's pretty much it for uh, the, the character of the wheel. It's definitely a lip wheel, even though it's got those spokes. If you go all the way back, this is a 20 by 10 wide. And if you go all the way back to where they put the ridge, you're talking about five and a half inches. But I would, I would say you have to call the lip from the front of that spoke. So I would call it about a two and three quarter inch lip. But you know, like I said, when you turn it to the side, you can see that it still gives the look of a lip wheel, even though it's a 20 by 10. This one's a negative 24 offset. So of the 10 wides, it's gonna be the um, most negative offset and have the largest lip on it. As far as finishes go, this is the um, black and machined with dark tint. So what you'll see is this is completely machined and then instead of putting just a clear coat over it, they actually tint the clear coat and they come back and they clear coat it with that tinted clear, which gives it almost like a grayish look. Now, just recently, this had a, a black flake in it and then it was kind of a bronzy look and they've recently changed it, it looks like, to give more of a gunmetal or a grayish look, which to me makes sense because it's gonna look better on more colors of vehicles. With the bronzy look, you got in trouble when you tried to start putting it on um, different color vehicles because it just kind of clashed with some colors. With this gunmetal, I think it's gonna go really good with the grays and charcoals and even the whites and the black trucks, and it's gonna blend in real well. So that is the finishes. And then the other finish, so that this has been the Hot Wheel. The new wheel is that they don't machine this and they leave the whole thing a gloss black and then that's the new finish. So the whole thing is just a gloss black, which gives it a mean look, but you know, I lean towards this one with the machining because it's got more character and these spokes across the lip stick out more versus a gloss black, they're gonna blend right in. So price point on these bad boys, well, let's talk sizes. So they're in 17 by nine, negative 12, 18 by nine, negative 12, and then they have a couple other offsets. 20 by nine, 20 by 10, negative 24, which is what this guy is. 20 by nine, 20 by 10, negative 12. 20 by nine, 20 by 10, 20 by 12. So I didn't realize they made a 20 by 12. I haven't seen many of those around. Um, and then price point, the 20 by 10, negative 24 in the machined is gonna be 1173, all four of them at your doorstep. And then I'm just gonna find 20 by 10 in the gloss black is 1121. So was that 50 bucks cheaper probably for the all black without the machining. So uh, good, good price. I mean, it's competitive. It's the typical price for a good 20 by 10 name brand wheel right now. I feel like I forgot something, Junior. Slip size, bolts, pricing, finishes, that's everything. Haven't done a hot new in a while. So, I'm not gonna get into the wheel tire combo because we're gonna save that for a matchup. Make sure you tune in for that. Uh, we'll bring that at you as well. But that is the fuel coupler and this is episode 56. Make sure you subscribe, make sure that you like, share, and tell your friends about us. Peace.